Hello guys, welcome back to ADP Design and in this video we are going to perform an explicit dynamic simulation um, of crushing the object by two rigid bodies using ANSYS Mechanical, right? So in this video we are talk we will talk about the geometries, we will talk about the materials, we will talk about the contacts, the body interaction, the mesh sizing, the analysis setting which we are going to build up, right? So till the till the end of this video, stay tuned and we will start with the geometry first so to create the geometry you can say, uh, select the, any software for solidworks creo whatever software you like so i have uh, built this model in this solidworks so i have created three separate bodies do not merge and that is the main part so if whenever you are creating the body please untick the merge result so it cannot merge with each other if it merges then you might be end up with the lots of error in ANSYS in the post processing right so you can see these are my two bodies you can convert these files into step IGS and parasolid whatever you want whatever you are convenient with right so uh, I have converted this as a step file you can see that I have selected a step file I have selected right so I have already converted and I will close the SOLIDWORKS for now okay now Whenever you are using ANSYS, so if you want to perform a basic explicit dynamic simulation, in this video we are I am just focusing on the basics of it, so that you can perform the advanced simulation after that. So when whenever you are using the explicit dynamics, double click on it, then you can select the different kinds of material by going into the engineering data. So I will add yes, you can go to the engineering data sources for selecting the much more material right you can explore the data and all so for the aluminium i am selecting the explicit material you can add up any material by clicking on the plus icon right so i am not adding adding it for now yes i will go to the project and yes the next step is the geometry then model then setup so i will select the geometry you can if you have already imported the model so you can add edit in design modeler or space claim right and also you can replace the geometry if the wrong model is imported so you can whenever you are double clicking on it so it will create uh, open the design modeler and your geometry looks like this right those three separate bodies which we, we were talking about so first body is this when you are selecting the first this this is the body right and this is the inertial coordinate system so for the first body it it will be it will not uh, deform right so you can select this as a rigid you can select the materials if you have added different material you can uh, select the material by clicking on it right second body this one also it cannot deform during the simulation so it should be a rigid okay i will select the rigid and also for the third body which is a circular object which i want to crush very badly right so this will be a flexible object for this uh, kind of analysis and you can select the aluminium for better deformed result right but for now i am selecting the structural steel you can select the aluminium so whatever your material you are adding uh, which uh, will shown up here right and also the coordinate system you have created you can see by clicking plus icon on it right also the connection i have selected the bonded between this face and this face you can zoom on it right so this this will be my face directly connected with this surface you can select the contact and target faces on this right and next one is the body interaction body interaction all the body right all the bodies in interaction with each other now i have selected the age mesh sizing for uh, doing the less computational time so for the age sizing i have selected this two ages this one and created the number of divisions which is a five number of division so you can select the higher number for fine sizing but due to the workstation specification that's why i have uh, selected the number number of five right 
later on you the most important part is the explicit dynamics the pre processing right so in the analysis condition you can select the end end of time the simulation end time so i have selected the 0.004 0.04 right then in the displacement you have to select my object is in a z direction so this body have must have to come down downwards right in the minus z direction so i will select the z component as the tabular data you can create the constant you uh, for the tabular data by time it will deform uh, it will come down by 800 mm at this time you can uh, select the steps as well so i have created just two steps and for this time it will come down like 800 mm minus 800 just because of plus z direction and minus z direction is a downwards that's why so yes you have you are done with the displacement as well you can select this one as a fixed support i have selected this body and also you can select the face you can select the age you can select the vertex by clicking on these icons right and you are done with the pre processing now so you can go to the solve and you can solve the results and then you are completely done with the results so this is how you can calculate the stress you can calculate the deformation you can add up the simulation data whatever you want like in the deformation directional total velocity the worn mesh stresses right maximum shear stress middle principle stress tool you can use for now right so this is how the basic explicit dynamic simulation you can perform and you can animate those simulation by time you i have selected the 100 frames and you can create the animation which you can save in your desktop so this is it and the advanced like uh, in this one acceleration standard of gravity we will talk about this feature in a future video till then stay tuned keep supporting and keep sharing